This year, we decided to celebrate what was arguably the most dominant and controversial event of Tesla's year, the reveal of Cybertruck. Not too many Tesla fans have actually seen Cybertruck in person. So we decided to remedy that by building a one-third size model of Cybertruck for display at our event in Miami. The model is big, over six feet in length and dimensionally accurate in every detail big enough to give attendees a really good feel for this groundbreaking vehicle. This video describes how it's made. Design of our Cybertruck model began with photos and an open source 3D model of Cybertruck. The 3D model was fed into MeshLab and appropriate 3D slices were taken so that we could build a skeleton to support the body of Cybertruck. To verify that the skeleton slices were correct, we built a 3D skeleton frame. And then, very much like the actual Cybertruck, whose body is built from planar panels, we constructed side, top, front, and back views using a 3D model as a basis, correcting deficiencies in the model using photos of Cybertruck extracted from online sources. The one-third scale Cybertruck model was to be fabricated using five millimeter medium density fiberboard or MDF for most body panels along with three millimeter clear acrylic plastic for the windows and heavier MDF for the skeleton. We began with the creation of a heavier skeleton pieces using a three axis CNC machine to cut the rails and ribs of the Cybertruck skeleton. For laser cut fabrication each of the components is presented as a series of production sheets that are transmitted in DXF format. Each production sheet contains a number of planar panels that are assembled to create Cybertruck. These sheets are laid out to optimize the use of materials, in this case MDF, reducing cost and time. The production sheets are transmitted to our CNC laser cutter and work begins on planar pieces for the Cybertruck body. After all machining operations were complete, we cut over 200 individual pieces made from various thicknesses of MDF. The pieces are joined using a tongue and groove arrangement for positioning, followed by an adhesive to bond the panels. Gaps are filled using a commercial putty filler and then sanded to smooth finish. Each piece was primed and then we used a special stainless steel look paint to finish Cybertruck panels. We also used a black flat spray for the bumpers and rocker panels. The finished pieces were assembled and the final details were added. The end result is Cybertruck. Our one third scale Cybertruck model is 72 inches long, 30 inches wide and 24 inches high. The bed of the pickup is 24 inches long. Cybertruck's wheels are 11 and 3 quarters inches in diameter with real rubber tread and recessed rims. 